Kababayan today with Benito Miranda. Okay, so Tito Ben, let's talk about the decision to do this procedure. Uh, you had to do it. Was this something you had to do? Y yes, I, I, I wanted to be healthy. I wanted to live long. I wanted to see my daughters bring me grand grandchildren. Mm -hmm. And of course, I wanted to be sure that my wife and I would live a much longer life. Um, so I made the decision and uh, had the surgery done, did all that, knowing that I would have to give up all the... Bad food. The, well, I must say bad food. Yeah, well, I mean, the, the, right. the greasy Filipino right. food. Well, the problem is I always preach the fact that if you do everything in moderation, mm. except drugs, you'll be okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I never did anything in moderation. I was always over. Excessive. Excessive. You know, I, I, I go to a buffet place, forget the salad bar, go straight to the main course, get three <laughs> or four plates, you know. And, and so I decided to do that, and it got to the point where my snoring was so bad. You know, um, Becca would videotape it, and when you listen to it, it was like a Honda 50. <laughs> okay. And then, and then I, I didn't, she'd, I'd hold my breath asleep at you for like, which is dangerous, you know, uh -huh. holding your breath. And I was always gasping for air. I was always looking for water. If you had asked me, Benito, can you come at 12 noon to Kababayan LA for a, Kababayan today for an interview? Mm -hmm. I'd be outside at 11 o'clock taking a nap. And then at quarter to 12, I'd have somebody call me, wake me up. I was always snapping. It was, you know, but it's a change of, of lifestyle, the food. It got to the point, uh, G, that uh, people would tell my wife after a few months, you know, your husband's the most boring person in the world. Because they took away my first love, food. Oh. You know, but I've been blessed. You know, I think God gave me the, 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 the knowledge to do what's best for me. Anyway, like I said, you know, he lives, our, our body's his temple. He goes, you better, you know. Take care take of Take care it. of it yes. for me. So I did, and I preached a lot. And um, Torrance Hospital IPA did the uh, interview with me. And I noticed that on Facebook, right after I had surgery, they had a few hundred hits. And he went straight to my interview with, with, with Torrance Hospital. But the giving up of the food, now I, I, I can't stand any, any meat. So yeah. you've gone vegetarian? Well, no, I, I eat fish. I eat fish, and then I used to love dark meat turkey or dark meat chicken, white, uh, mostly fish, a lot of tofu, and you know what my best meal is at night before I go to bed? Brown rice with raisins and Maggie. And <laughs> I, I love it. And so we used to go out, and you know, Becca for a while was upset because, you know, we go out to dinner. We used to go to Ruth Chris, and I order a meal. I do the salad and half the soup, and I'm done. I take the meal home. But it got to the point where I, I eat, and I'll, I'll bring a lot of food back home. But the, the, the important thing, G, is that you have to exercise. Yes. Because if I did not exercise, I would have hanging skin. I, I know a lot of people that went to the procedure, because we still meet once a quarter at Torrance Memorial, and there were women and men that lost a lot of weight, and some of them had over 100 pounds of excess skin. Hmm. Hanging on their arms, hanging on their... So yeah. the way to get rid of the excess skin is to work out. Exactly. I did, I, and I still do. I walk about an hour and a half every day. I when still, do you find the time to do this? I get up at 5 o'clock. And then there's a Sur La Brea Park, even though I belong to some of the gym, fitness gyms right there. In, you, in, so you make it a, a habit every, every morning. Every day. Whether I'm in Cebu or whether, in, even when I went to Spain for, for Holy Week one time, I, I would get up early. An hour and a half, just walking. Walking an hour. Is it and then, brisk walking, jogging? Brisk walking. Or? I can't jog it. My knees are shot. And, and so I, I do a lot of brisk walking. Okay. And it's about uh, two miles, but every, every half mile, I do 60 push-ups just to... 60 push-ups. Yeah, because it, well, it, it's... Uh, okay, it, did you start out doing 60 push-ups? No. 10, 15. And that, then you just yeah. gradually yeah, yeah, built yeah. up to it. See, that's the thing. People are intimidated. Oh, 60 push-ups. How no, am I ever going no. to do that? But then you start off first. Exactly, exactly. Slowly. And so right now, as of January 1st, 2010, I take no medication of any kind. I take B12, vitamin D, and, uh, and obviously, this wasn't the case when you were overweight. No, no. But you it, had a lot of medication exactly. that you took. Oh, the metformin, all, all the horrible things. But the funny thing is, even sometimes when I take the, the vitamins, I have to kind of powderize it because the stomach is small. You don't want anything to fill out, you know. And, and, and when you overeat after the surgery, you say, you talk about mm -hmm. feeling sick. Uh -huh. I'll give an example. Last night, we had the Rotary Club of Historic Filipino Town Christmas party in L.A. 
And I know I'm not supposed to eat pork, but you know how Filipino food is Italy. It looks so good. We, 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 had, we had the kamayan in front, so I take two small pieces two with small the rice. Oh, that was it. I had to run outside. I got sick. And if I'm talking to you, if you invite me to your home and you're giving me food, and then I pick out, I pick out, and you, get, uh, I look at you, you tell me, Te Benito, how come you have tears coming down your eyes? Guess why? My stomach is telling me, listen, you turkey, I can't handle the food that you're putting in, so I have to excuse myself, and it's got it's to come out somewhere, you know. So, um, but it, it's um, it's habit. It's you have to practice. The, it takes a lot of courage, a lot of energy, and a lot of will to really do what the whole thing that I'm doing. Um, Would you recommend it? Definitely, especially those that have a bad case of diabetes, I recommend it. you live longer. Mm -hmm. you know, and of course but it has to be a change of lifestyle because if has. you do it and you go back to your old ways. It has. It has to. I mean, you know, I, 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 look, at, I look at salmon. I used to love salmon. Mm -hmm. Any fish shown to me that's other than white, like pink salmon, oh, ayoko. Bakit? Ang sarap sarap ng salmon. I thought that was healthy. It's all psychological. I, 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 I eat only white fish. I eat only white chicken, white turkey. <laughs> you know. But like I said, you know, that's... Only white fish white. and white meat, okay. But brown rice and or black rice. That's right. Okay, when we return here on Kababayan today, we'll share with you, uh, Tito Benito Miranda is also a very big proponent of the Filipino community, and he's a leader, uh, leading SIPA, Search to Involve Filipino Americans, for five years. We'll talk about that when we return here on Kababayan today.